the AMD Ryzen 9 9950X is the new multi-core king. <laughs> sort of. For Cinebench R23 multi-core, it is outperforming the Intel Core i9-14900K and the previous gen Ryzen 9 7950X by about 9%. And it's outperforming them in multi-core while utilizing considerably less wattage, as well as much lower temperatures. But AMD did change where they placed the temperature sensors in Ryzen 9000 CPUs compared to Ryzen 7000, so you can't really compare the two unfortunately, but that's what we have. Now I've been testing all the Ryzen 9000 CPUs and here's kind of my issue with this whole rollout. Now we have Ryzen 7000, specifically the 7950X right here, 16 cores, 32 threads, one of my favorite CPUs. Then we have the Ryzen 9 9950X, 16 cores, 32 threads, very fast CPU, very power efficient overall, much more efficient than this. Now. As you do your workloads, whether it's you know Blender or Microsoft Office Suites or video editing, these are going to give you very, very similar performance. Yes, this may be 8, 10, 12% faster, but these are both fast CPUs. So if you're getting a bit faster over what's already fast, are you going to see the difference? Your pocket will, because this is much more expensive right now, what, $650 uh, online, it's launch day, right? And this is a lot more affordable. Uh, so would you spend 150 bucks more compared to this, which is going to give you the same perceivable experience? Well, that's something that only you can answer. But for me, if I were to actually buy these with my own money, I'd probably go with the 7950X right now. And if you're a gamer, you don't get either. You wait for the new X3D coming down the line, or if you can't wait, get the 7800X3D. So there's going to be more testing, but yeah, Ryzen 9000, I like it. I like it a lot. The prices need to come down for it to be an easy recommendation.